Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. We are back for part two of Ceteris Paribus. That includes holding geography concepts as well. In the previous video, we've looked at one, the geographic container for data. Are you analyzing the container or are you analyzing the phenomena? We've looked at in the previous video, how do I hold geography constant? Now that we know what we want to do, how do we go about creating those geographic containers? That is the subject of this video. How do I create my own geographic containers? Our demonstration will use the Geographic Information System software program, Maptitude. I've begun with their map wizard. I will look at a county, and the county will be Shelby, Tennessee. Uh, since I'm going to analyze uh, Shelby County, I'd like to begin by making a polygon of my subject area. Uh, I will do that by making county my active layer, and, and then point selecting, click on Shelby County, and here we have it and then tools, export. I'm going to export Shelby Town County as a standard geographic file. And I'll call the name Shelby County. Once I have exported it, I will have it automatically add to the map. I will call the file. Shelby County Boundary, so I can remember what it is. I will now turn off my previous county layer, and I can change the way in which Shelby County appears, either by clicking where the mouse is, I'll make it a glaringly obnoxious color, about that. That's pretty revolting. I'll apply that, and I'll zoom to that layer, and here we have Shelby County, I'll scoot it over a little bit, and here we have our county layer. Next, I want to create a grid that encompasses my Shelby County point of interest is that part of Shelby County actually lies to the west of the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River is an approximate but not a complete boundary for the state of Tennessee and for the county of Shelby. So I want to create a grid following along the theme of this set of videos. Tools, geographic utilities, I will create a vector grid. The grid I'm going to create is going to be an area grid, and I'll call it Shelby County Grid. And I'll make this grid a 3 by 3 mile grid. I don't want it to be so small that, that uh, it is cutting a lot of sensor tracks, which I'm going to overlay, uh, or that uh, I don't want it to be too large so, so that uh, I it doesn't add to my decision-making ability. I will cover the map window that we see uh, with cells of a fixed size. And I want my cells to be three by three. Okay. I'll call this Shelby three by three. It's added to the map, but I want to be able to see it better. Perhaps you can see it. I certainly can't. So let's make this another glaringly obnoxious color just for purposes of the YouTube video. And here we have my grid. Okay, well, that's not very attractive. I'm not trying to make a pretty map at this point. I'm, I'm, my objective is a demonstration. Uh, these uh, uh, cells outside the county are superfluous. I only really need the cells inside the county. And 
so I have two ways to go about uh, getting rid of these surplus cells. Uh, one is to uh, do a spatial overlay where if the cell is touching or inside of Shelby County, uh, retain it, select it, uh, and if not, don't. Uh, or I can go about it in a more indirect manner, but I think more explanatory for the beginner is to perform a overlay. So overlay, and I'm going to overlay I need to make my grid my working layer and I will create an overlay with Shelby County. Click on attributes and clear. These are all the data that I have associated with the county and all I need is something so I'll say I'm going to pick county and since it's a text string I will just copy it name I'll copy that and that's good enough okay and what is my error overlay it actually it work it wants to have some level there that I will specify and in a three by three mile grid, is why I'm, I'm working, willing to accept a error of 500 feet. So that'll be my error. And I, it wants to have another name. This is a temporary file. So it'll call it Shelby County Temp 1. It's good to name these files. So in a way that you can go back and clean up your hard drive and delete those which are superfluous. Save. So here we have it, the county name, uh, sort decreasing. So here's Shelby County. And the FIPS code is 41157. I'm sorry, 47157. 47 is the FIPS code for the state of Tennessee, and 157 is for the county Shelby, and the complete FIPS code then is 47157. And a lot of the cells don't have any 47157 because they were not were not located inside or touching Shelby County. So with that, I can go into selection, select by condition, and my field list is, I'm going to select name, and my operator list will be equal to, and my values of name, all I need to do is just click Shelby County, and I'll call this Shelby Grid. Shelby County 3x3 three three grid. Now uh, what we have then is that these cells which are highlighted in green uh, touch or overlay the Shelby County. Tools, export, Shelby County 3x3. Three three. I'll export it as a standard geographic file. 